Lives Now Saves the Heroes. सिंह साहब हमारे जो है बहुत दिल्ली राज्य में है और खुश मिजाज आदमी है सिंह साहब एक बार किसी चीज को जो है लक्ष्य ले लेते हैं कि मैंने ये काम करना है तो वो काम जो है वो पूरा पेज कर देते been a true role model, a true sense of inspiration for us, a true sense of motivation for us. I wanted to see action and I wanted to live adventurous life and since the time I have joined this battalion I have never looked back whether it is mountaineering, whether it is jumping from the aircraft, whether it is fighting, I have got all of it. Saurabh Singh Shekhawat and his men are trained for combat. Stationed in the far northeast, there is a force that is one of its kind in the Indian Army. Special forces are a body of special troops which are uh, mandated, to, mandated to carry out special operations. And uh, the mandate comes from the Arabs, Arab quarters. And uh, we have chosen this life, that is first thing, and rest is our training. The training is selection process and the training. There is some fire burning inside and they want to be different. And they have that uh, sense of adventure to do something in their lives. And they want to seek action, they want to fight. Mark Memorial. Uh, this is the cost which we have paid uh, since raising, uh, and we have lost around 28 people. Uh, and these are our soldiers who laid down their lives for the cause of country. High on adrenaline, this entire battalion has a zeal for adventure, and it has become an integral part of their dream. It is always uh, life and death situation. We are into it now. We are all volunteers, and we are into it. So when a task comes up, we take it. And now we know, when we are going to go inside, there will be a firefight. If we perform, we will be alive. If we don't perform, we will be dead. I started mountaineering in 1997, again, you know, out of... Uh, uh, it started uh, with the... <coughs> Training. Uh, I went to high high to drop very school. I climbed uh, on th uh, 14 mountains till date, and uh, including Everest, Mount Everest th three times. Mountaineering is a good sport. Uh, it's a very you know you can say extreme sport. And the peculiarity of this sport is that uh, you know you are uh, there are no spectators. There is no cheering party. You know, there are no medals, 
and uh, there's no one to look at you or cheer you up. You are uh, alone on your own on the mountain. So it is between you and the mountain. When you climb, you are actually not, uh, you know, when you summit, you are not actually conquering the mountain. You are conquering yourself. So this is the Loktok Lake which you were talking about. As you see, uh, the biomass which you see in front of you, it is, this is called Foom. And you can uh, now imagine how difficult it is to wade through uh, this uh, floating biomass. And if you if you look in the middle of the lake, you can see a cluster of huts. They are actually, uh, these huts are made on that floating bio, biomass. The maintenance of surprise was a problem. So initially we decided that uh, we will go swimming. Actually this operation evolved in itself. Uh, within a week we realized that this was a no-go because my boys were getting exhausted and a uh, few of us got admitted in hospital. Then finally we decided that in Rome you do as Romans do. So we uh, procured these boats and uh, then we started practicing. This small pond is, was our uh, initial training ground and we did our uh, boat training here and within uh, you know 20 25 days everyone uh, each one of us was rowing the boat like a fisherman This is the place from where we carry out our surveillance. And uh, we and then came to this place and then we plotted uh, the grid reference, uh, you know, map reference uh, on the map and uh, then we trained this photoscope in the same direction. And you know, within 15 minutes, we could see the target. With this photoscope and with that uh, long range surveillance equipment, uh, we kept the target under observation day and night. Now, this is the area where the target was. As you see, uh, as I had explained, you know, these were the civilian huts. There are 14 huts uh, that was three years back. So, there's some change here. So the problem was, uh, which was in front of us, was that target was ahead of the civilian huts and that these huts were occupied. Slowly we were moving towards the target and I could see the sentry and I could see the patrol going on. That was the time I realized that, you know, I am feeling, you know, slightly chill on my back. So then I realized that we are going with the wind and uh, the wind will, because sentry will be able to hear the noise of the rowing. So that was the time we all stopped, I told everyone to stop and then take a detour. So we all turned back, it, was, it, it created a lot of uh, time delay and a lot of uh, you know uh, inconvenience to my other boys who were uh, acting as stop. Everyone had to turn back, then we got stuck in the foam uh, like this. But somehow, you know, we waded through this room. And we took a detour and we came from uh, east direction, against the wind. And that was the time, you know, we uh, got a good uh, floating island, 50 meters from the target. Okay, the uniqueness of this operation was that uh, there was no ground to fight. And we were uh, in full realization that if fire comes on up, us, you know, there is no escape. And as for the rehearsal, uh, Lakshman Singh was the first one who was supposed to open fire uh, and uh, behind uh, him we all fired and the fire was very accurate within 4 minutes everything was over.
we waited for the day to break and then we entered the target and we saw uh, that we had fired very accurately and uh, those who were there at the target end, they were dead and uh, we carried out the forest search and then we went to the civilian huts also, they were all petrified people, then we reassured them that uh, we are army and uh, you know, no harm will come to you and I was very happy that you know there was no collateral damage. As I see this lake now, you know, there is no tension here, you know, we can move freely and we are moving freely. And in 2008, uh, when we did the operation, this was not the situation then. You know, by entering the lake meant that you might invite a trouble. We feel satisfied, I feel satisfied that, you know, because of the contribution made by, little contribution made by my battalion, you know, we can also take some credit. Adorned with three gallantry awards, this operation at Loktak, in which nine militants were neutralized, got the colonel a keepy chuckle. However, for Sheikh Hawad, it is his battalion that deserves the real credit. The reason for me, uh, you know, in, in this scenario, I would say uh, how we are going to attack against the adversary, our adversity. And uh, second thing was, second thing is that, uh, like in my case, uh, this was a teamwork. So I can't say that, you know, I acted as a hero and, you know, and uh, for, because of me, it was a success, it was a teamwork. And I just gave directions and my boys were there with me and they did the job. Three years have passed. And Saurabh Singh Shekhawat now leads this battalion of the special forces. and is back to his hectic life, a commanding officer, a man who is looked up by every Fauji under him. And the story of valor and inspiration is told every day. It was a moment of, I don't know what, we felt as if we are God and uh, we started touching our feet. Heroes. No pass, sir. We need rugged and reliable gensets that will work in such hostile conditions. There is one thing we can do. A phone call. To God? No. Kiloska. A challenging task at hand. A call is all it takes. Just call Kiloska. Those who accept things as they are, and those who rise to change. Mahindra, rise. I wonder where you went and why you went away. The new Sony Ericsson W8, world's first walk-in smartphone, on Reliance 3G.
If you feel a sharp sensation like an electric shock in your teeth, then you do have teeth sensitivity. It's just too bad. These people are here to discover new Colgate sensitive Pro Relief. Rub this, when you feel the pain. Go on, take another sip. Not again. No pain. <laughs> I think it's amazing. That's because it tackles the cause of sensitivity pain, sealing open tubules for instant relief. Brush every day for lasting results. Finally, I've got something for my sensitive teeth. New Colgate sensitive Pro Relief. Instant and lasting sensitivity relief. All your money back. Colgate, number one brand recommended by dentists. जब तक बल्ला चल रहा है खाद चल रहा है जब बल्ला नहीं चलेगा तो फिर बिरला सन लाइफ इंश्योरेंस के वेल्थ विद प्रोटेक्शन सॉल्यूशंस जिंदगी के उतार चढ़ाव में जियो विश्वास के साथ Who says education magazines have to be dry and boring? Check out the latest issue of My OD the exciting new youth magazine for career and competition. Make your own destiny. <laughs> Digestive biscuits are high in fiber and yummy to taste. Habits you would love to keep. Na 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 na. Hey. Papa, you are late. Up to ring a ring a dum dum dum. Ready. Chevrolet Beef Diesel with IntelliDrive technology and 24K MPA. India of Drive Kolke. Papa, I feel late on. The heroes. One floor, the top floor, up in flames. Man tells that is believed to be on the ground floor. The world keeps death firing. We heard it from the ground. Three years back, on the fateful night of 26 November, a handful of men brought Mumbai to a standstill. And as the city lay in siege, various security agencies came together to face India's biggest urban war. what was called operation black tornado for major ekta singh being a part of special action group in the indian army was almost like being home captain special action group uh, like after spending my 3 years in my uh, parent unit that is in artillery I had always dreamt of uh, going into NAC, National Security Guard. Since uh, my childhood, uh, like I would like to tell you, in 89 my father was posted in uh, National Security Guard. So I had been there earlier also, and the unit in which I was serving, my then CEO, who was also part of the Film Special Action Group. So that was the motivation. Visuals of the fateful night still linger on in every mind. While the Oberoi Trident has decided to move on from the scars, Major Amitendra Kumar Singh, a captain in the army, then remembers his tryst with terror. As soon as I received this information.